What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be rolling out in the Master Tier with a Haxorus team that also features Life Orb Toxtricity. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Jeans community. Want to give a huge shout out to everybody who is a subscriber, everybody who likes the videos, and anybody who just tunes in and watches them. It really goes a long way. Really, really helped me grow as a content creator. But before we get started here with today's team preview, you got to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Scotticus. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code. I will be leaving your channel down in the description below. So if you guys have haven't checked out his channel yet definitely head down there and show him some jeans love but we can get started here with today's team preview start off in that top left corner we have the one and only toxicity a lot of people like this pokemon from gen 8 i think it's super cool and i absolutely love its typing of electric and poison it's got punk rock as its ability holding the life orb as item and then it's got boom burst discharge snarl and protect for an amazing move set Second Pokemon is going to be Golden Go over here. Golden Go has been taken over the meta really good with the choice specs and just has an all around great move pool. And as good as gold as its ability, then it has Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Power Gem for its four moves. Middle left is going to be Sableye, a great support mod for this team with Prankster and the Scissors Berry. It has Fake Out, Quash, Helping Hand, and Will-O-Wisp. Fourth Pokemon is going to be an off meta Pokemon. It is going to be Skunk Tank over here. It has Stench as its ability, alongside with the Choice Band as its item. This Pokemon can hit really hard with its Choice Band, and it also has Explosion as one of its moves. So it can legit just explode, get the Choice Band damage on top of that, and you can also Terrestrialize it in the normal type to get another stack of damage. And then pair it up with the Save Bite, you can dodge that move and just legit explode into a crazy amount of damage to your opponent Pokemon. It also has Poison Jab, it has Sucker Punch for first turn priority, and then it has Play Rough for its final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our second Prankster Pokemon on the team. So we're rocking out with two Prankster Pokemon. Probably going to bring only one in each battle and just roll out from there. But this Murkrow is pretty normal with Prankster, Focus Sash, and then Icy Wind, Haze, Tail, and Taunt. Doesn't get too difficult with Murkrow. It's kind of just there and it does the same thing on every single team. So this one's pretty straightforward and normal. Final Pokemon is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Haxorus. I absolutely love this pseudo legendary. I think his design's amazing. It has little like blades coming out as, as like ears, something like that. It just looks really, really cool. It has Mold Breaker as its ability, rocking a muscle band as item to get a physical attack damage boost. Then it has EQ, Rock Slide, Dragon Call, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Haxorus and Toxtricity Master to your team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Trick Room Armor Rouge team that also features Biascarada, Mousehold, Annihilate, Murkrow, and then last but not least, Indeedee. So it has three support mods, but I feel like this Mousehold is attacking Mousehold with a Population Bomb, and it can kind of just roll out from there. So in this instance, I am just going to roll into my special attacking Ghost. So Sableye and Golden Go, I feel like it's a great lead. We could dodge um, Fighting Moves, Final Gambits, uh, Population Bombs. I just feel like it's a smart lead for us. And we kind of roll off from there. So I'm going to bring in them too. I am going to bring in my boy Haxorus. I really do like Haxorus in this situation. And then on top of that, I really like Toxtricity as well. So I feel like leading or bringing in the back end Haxorus and Toxtricity. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So we're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But something that I did not go over in the team preview that I want to go over here is uh, your boy has a donation link now. It is linked down in the description below. I'm not asking you guys to donate, but I know a lot of people have been DMing me on Twitter, uh, commenting on uh, YouTube, being like, yo, Jeans, do you have any way I could donate to you? I have my donation link from Twitch. I linked it down in the description below. So if you guys want to donate to me, it will be much appreciated. But again, you guys do not have to. Your views are plenty and enough for me. Thank you guys so much for all the support. But we can get started here with the first battle. They're going to end up leading the Annihilate and the Miascarada. So Miascarada could pop the Trick Room. A little scary, not going to lie. Um, I might Terra type the... Actually, I can't Terra to straight ghost. That kind of sucks. I could Quash. Actually, Prankster wouldn't work. Prankster would not work. Uh, Do I want to Gleam? Gleam would be super effective on the booth. Shadow Ball's not bad either. But yeah, I'm going to end up Gleaming. I'm going to end up Gleaming, and I'm just going to end up faking, faking out here. Give me my play all day. I wonder what Annihilate's doing. Annihilate can just straight up Shadow Call, but a Shadow Call is not too powerful. So he's just gonna end up withdrawing it. That's totally fine. So he's gonna save the Annihilate for back end. What Pokemon they're gonna send out now? It's gonna be Armoru. So I think they're trying to pop a Trick Room. I think Trick Room is trying to get out and about here. It's a little scary. Definitely is a little scary. And I could change the straight Ghost here if I want to. 
That something picks up the easy KO on Miyasukai. So now I just have to watch out for that Armor Rouge right there. And Armor Rouge could be a pain because Armor Rouge can pop Trick Room itself. And I don't really feel like I have any way around it now. So we'll see. Annihilate comes back out here. Shadow Call can fly. Um, that's a gleam. Obviously, we're choice into it. That's not too bad. And we might as well help a hand this, right? We might as well help a hand this. I could have obviously quashed and annihilate, which I probably should have done. But I just have an odd feeling that Armor Rouge is going to pop a trick room here. Or it might just terrestrialize and try to get after the battle that way. I don't mind it. I think that was a solid lead from us all around. Just going into these two. I think it was great. So we're going to see another withdrawal here. And they're going to show its final Pokemon. So I'm, I'm fine with just chipping up damage here. I think Trick Room is going to fly here. Murkrow is going to come out here. I like where we're sitting with this. I really do like where we're sitting. You can't helping hand Golden Go? Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. You can't helping hand Golden Go? Wait just a minute. I'm not allowed to helping hand Golden Go? What kind of ability is that? <laughs> Yo, I did not know that. I myself am not allowed to drop a helping hand on Golden Go. Let me read that. A body of pure. Solid gold gives the Pokemon full immunity to other Pokemon status moves. Even your ally Pokemon? That is wild. That is wild. But from here, I could bring out... My boy, Haxorus is bad. Or I can bring out Toxtricity. I'm going to bring out Haxorus. I really like Haxorus in this situation. It does outspeed. I do have EQ on it. I do have Rock Slide on it. I think I'm just going to tear the rock here. Actually, probably not. Do I want to tear the rock? I could. I could definitely tear the rock. I could definitely tear it to the rock typing. Which would not be bad. Yeah, I'm gonna pop my terrestrialization and I'm just gonna drop a rock slide, right? And then from here, I can help a hand on top of that. I actually feel like it's a simple play. You have the terrestrialization boost from rock slide, it's super effective on both of them. You get the helping hand boost on top of that too. I just think it's a no brainer. I just think it's a no brainer of a play. Rock slides all day from Haxorus. <laughs> from Haxorus. Yo, I had no idea that. Helping Hand did not work on Gold to go. Even though it thrived out very, very well in the beginning. We had the fake out and then we just dumped on Miascarada, which was a huge play for us. That really did help us out. Getting rid of that Miascarada, who I did think was popping a trick room. I think that Miascarada is all about the trick room. Because if I had to guess, most Miascaradas now, especially paired up with Armor Rouge, rock the Focus Ash and then have Trick Room on it. So it can eat up the first shot. But since we faked it out already, we took off the Sash and we kind of just dumped on it. But I'm going to Terrasalize here. I'm going to drop the little Clap Skis. Get a little bit of helping hand action. And my boy should go next, right? Well, obviously, my fault. Forgot about the Prankster Tailwind that has to come out here. Armor Rouge is going to probably pop maybe another Armor Cannon. Let's start expanding force, which we soak all day. We soak all day. And now you have to feel my wrath. Rockside coming in here. Should pick up the double KO, correct? All day. All day, baby. And now we just quash and annihilate. I can drop a Dragon Call. I can drop a Rockside. I can do whatever I want. I can do whatever I want. GG's? Pretty much GG's, right? Pretty much GG's. Annihilate does not stand a chance. It does not stand a chance. You do not stand a chance. So, mm, do I rock slide? What would do more damage? So this is 1.5, this 1.5. Okay, so Dragon Claw will do the most damage here. Dragon Claw. So we're gonna Dragon Claw here. Do I help a hand or do I just straight up quash? I have to quash. If not, then he goes first. If not, then Annihilate goes first. I could see your opponent cancel in battle. They stay in. I pat it on the head to quash it up, make it go last. And then I get off this Dragon Call, which Dragon Call is probably not picking up the KO, but it's chipping up some damage. It's better than nothing. Yeah, I saw this Drain Punch coming too. We'll get some HP back. I could burn it. I could definitely burn it here, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna burn it, and then I could snarl it as well, just for super uh, super effective damage. This might be the play. I think it's leftovers. It's not choice. It's a little odd, right? That's definitely a little odd. That's really weird. A leftovers annihilate. This is my first time seeing that. Kind of cool though. Kind of cool. We get some variety of annihilate out here. So from here, I can easily go for a snarl, which I'm gonna do. Actually, no, I'm not gonna snarl. Uh, discharge probably the play. Discharge and I'm just going to Willow Wisp you. 
Actually, might be faster than Annihilate at this point. So he's gonna end up Thrasslide. What's your Terror type? This is kind of scaring me now. What is your Terror type? Fire. It's a Fire Terror type. We can't Willow Wisp it anymore. It's honestly a little scary. Hmm. Rage Fist coming in here. Again, this is very scary. I could quash it. How much damage are we doing? Can we get a Paralyze on it? I could Boom Burst now, which isn't too bad. But I might just quash and Boom Burst. Do I have any hitting moves here? I mean, this was 80. I think Boom Burst should be able to pick up the KO, correct? Seems like it should, right? And then we just quash on top of that. Let's see how this one plays out here. We're going to quash this thing. Can Boom Burst pick up the KO? I hope it does. I don't want to lose this battle. This will be a great comeback from him. Does not affect Save Live. We drop it on him. And we're going to lose here. We just lost. My boy has no hitting moves, right? No way, right? Quash, Will O Wisp, Fake Out. How big? Oh my god, we lost. We lost the battle. We lost. How did we lose that one? How did we lose that one? We lost. There's no. We can't do it. We can't burn him. And he has leftovers. I gotta run this battle. I gotta run it. What a rough first battle. We played so well. I just don't know where we lost the battle at. But hey, we start off 0 1. We get up to a second. Look for a first victory. Second match coming at you guys. I don't really know how we lost that first battle, but we lost it. It was my warm up for today, so relax on me. We definitely could have protected it. Probably wasted out some Tailwind turns, or we could have just swapped the Sableye when we had the chance to get Toxicity and Haxorus out there at the same time. But that one's on me. We're going to win this next battle for you guys. Going up against AC Titan, Hail Team, or Snow Team, whatever you want to call it, with Annihilate, Hydreigon, and then Indeedee and Arm Rouge combo. So he has three different combos you can pretty much go into. Annihilate, Hydreigon, a Bomb of Snow, C Titan, and then Arm Rouge and Indeedee. How should Jeans play this one? Um, Haxorus isn't too bad. I kind of like Murkrow here just so we can take a little bit of speed. And I might even go Golden Go. I think Golden Go thrives. I really like the ghost typing. I'm all about it. So I'm going to go Golden Go. I'm going to go Murkrow. I'm bringing Haxorus in the back end. And I'm bringing Toxtricity again. I think this is just solid. I feel like in the next battle, we could showcase uh, the Skunk Tank on this team. But we got to grab ourselves some win. That is the most important part about this battle because we never want to go into the third and final battle being 0-2. So I'm ready to pick up a dub for you guys. I'm ready to do it. Especially because that last one, we definitely should have had a dub. Definitely should have had a dub. It's all good though. It's all good. We're here for some fun. We're here for we're here for a good time, not a long time. You guys know what I'm saying? But C Titan and Obama still get the lead. Not bad for us. Um easy tailwind set up for us. Uh no fake outs on the field. I can see a terrestrialization coming out from Obama Snow. Or not Obama Snow from C Titan. Definitely an option, but I think this is simple make it rain play, right? Simple make it rain play. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. But yeah, this Golden Ghost signature move is legit one of the strongest in the game, considering it's basically like a Draco Meteor, but it hits both Pokemon, which is <laughs> insane. It is abs it is absurd. It really is. But we'll see if they want to Thrasslize. If they don't, they're in big trouble. They're in big trouble. Yep. Here's one Thrasslization. Probably on the Sea Titan slot. What are you going to go into? Mine was Rock, so I'm kind of hoping this one's Rock. It's going to be Water. Okay, so that's a, that's a solid, solid type change for him. The Water Sea Titan's going to pop out here. Make it rain, can still, you know, get off a little bit of damage on that. I don't mind too much. And then we're just going to Tailwind on top of that. The Tailwind comes out here, probably making Golden go faster. It does. So, Obama Snow, we're going to pop that thing down to Sash. It's not going to do too much damage to Sea Titan. And then Sea Titan's going to probably come after my Golden Go. So we'll see what they want to do. I could swap Golden Go next turn. Hang on what move they're using. They go right after you. So, Icicle Crash. And a Blizzard, right? I still crash in a blizzard. Not too bad. So blizzard blaster takes out my Murkrow, and then Golden Go takes a little bit. Okay, so we could swap Golden Go. I might want to do it save for later. And I could go into a Pokemon like Toxtricity. I'm all about it. I'm all about popping the discharges. I do want to see Toxtricity speed. I'm gonna hope that it's faster than that. See Titan, right? I mean, what's your speed? 149. Are you close to that? If you're anywhere close to that, you got it. 
139. Ooh. Mm. I would think you're faster, right? I would think you're faster, right? I'm gonna pop that. I'm going to just swap Golden Go and have it for later usages so I can choice in a different move and get my special attack stat back to normal. I feel like we're fine. I really do think we're fine. Hax just should be able to soak this up rather well. I can either protect him, I can use him next turn. I'm gonna pop him with a little bit of mold breaker action. Hax just he does go. Beautiful. Double kill. Oh wow, C Titan! Yo, C Titan soaks! <laughs> for legit no reason. Give me a give me paralyze. Oh, no, not on my Pokemon. On his Pokemon. What are you what is his game? <laughs> what is his game? <laughs> paralyze on his Pokemon, not mine. Ridiculous. I said crash flies. Chip it will soak, right? Alright, so you soak up. I do think that I could pop a boom burst, which I'm really, really leaning turn towards. I'm really leaning towards a boom burst here. I am really leaning to towards a boom burst. And a protect on Haxorus. This boom burst should be able to pick up the KO, especially if I Thrasslize, but I don't think I want to Thrasslize. I think I have to though. I have to KO this C Titan. I'm gonna Thrasslize here. I can see a follow me coming out here. I'm gonna Thrasslize. I am gonna finish off that C Titan. I'm just gonna protect my Haxorus. Right now is the time to, to pop the Thrasslization. Do we Thrasslize? I need this Boom Burst KO on. That's my, that's, my, that's my big thing right here. I need this Boom Burst KO that C Titan. I need it. We have Punk Rock. It's going to be Stab. Base 140. Follow me. Wastes a turn. I'm all about it. Follow me. Legit did nothing. Which is amazing. Because now we get off some damage on that. Should KO the Sea Titan, correct? KO the Sea Titan, please. Thank you. Big time damage. Big time damage. Now I could hard swap in the Golden Go. I could. Just pop another Boom Burst. Depending on our Tailwind turns. If we have one more Tailwind turn. I would love to do that. I would absolutely love to do that, depending on what Pokemon he throws out here. This is going to be his final Pokemon. He's probably going to Terror type. It is going to be Hydreigon. Yeah, I have one more turn left in Tailwind. This is a safe... I don't want to Boom Burst my Haxorus. It's a safe Boom Burst. Tailwind should have one more turn, correct? It does. And yeah, this should just be a free swap into Golden Go. Free swap into Golden Go, just so Boom Burst does not hit our ally Pokemon. This one's gonna be tough. This one's gonna be rather close. I do like the swaps that we're playing here. Boomer's gonna be able to fly. Just gonna finish off the Ndidi and get off some damage onto Hydreigon, who has no double hitting moves, correct? Maybe except for Snarl, but yo, yo, bringing this thing down to one HP. The beautiful, beautiful plays from us to Terrasalize our Toxtricity with like 30 HP left. It just seemed like the right call. He's gonna Draco Meteor here. Doesn't even kill my Golden Go. That's GG's. That is GG's. Like I said, we are bringing you guys a dub for battle number two, and I got you guys. I got you guys. Hydreigon goes down from the life orb, and we take battle number two. Third and final match coming at you guys, going up against a King Gambit team alongside with Skelly Dirge, and then uh, Hydreigon, Belly Drum, Azumarill, Amoongus, and Grimmsnarl. How should I play this one? How should I go into it? I feel like maybe we can go in with Skunk Tank, Golden Go, or Skunk Tank, Sableye, and just explode turn one, get off a crazy amount of damage, and kind of go from there. If not, we do have Sucker Punches for like the Ghost Pokemon, such as the Shelly Dirge. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, because your speed's not too bad. I think it's like 149, maybe? Yeah, 149 on the nose. Um, could go there. We could go Sableye, or I can just rock out with Golden Go. I don't really mind Sableye, especially if he goes into, like, say, Gambit. I can just kind of burn that. I can also help me hand it, too. I think I'm with Sableye. I really am with Sableye. I'm going to go Taxtricity. Taxtricity in the back end. I'm really liking it all around. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But yeah, the first two battles, not too bad. The first battle, obviously, like, we probably should have won that one. They clutched up with Annihilate. But second battle, we ended up coming in clutch with the Hexers and Toxtricity. More so the Toxtricity, Terrasalizing it, dropping the Boom Burst and rolling out from there. But now we're looking for that winning record. Looking for that lovely little winning record. So let's see our opponent goes Grimmsnarl and Skelly Skelly. Um, yeah, I feel like Sucker Punch is just a fair play for us. I think it's a safe flight too. Instead of just exploding. But I'm gonna be choice into this. That's my problem. I'm gonna be choice into this. We're going for a play rough though. They're both stabbed. These are both stabbed. Problem is it's not very effective to the other side. Kinda wanna go into a poison jab. I know we have speed. 
but I feel like Skelly there's is, is a little bit more of a problem. So I'm gonna do that, and I am just going to fake out the Grimmy. I start off like that. So what's all in the Skelly Dirge? Ah. <laughs> and Gambo is gonna come out here. I'm gonna burn that Gambo next turn all day. They get off the fake out. It kind of sucks. I might swap. I might swap my boy. I might swap because I can only go for. Yeah, I can only go for sucker punches. And it kind of hurts because it's not very effective on both sides. I might just swap you at this point, right? Throw a burn going to Haxorus. I kind of like Haxorus here. It's a Toxic but Haxorus, I kind of like a little bit better. And then I'm just going to throw in a lovely little burn over onto that gamut slot, and we'll go from there. God, man, I should have just poison jabbed. I should just rock the poison jab in that thing. Should just rip into a poison jab. Would have been beautiful. Would have been lovely. Then we're gonna break the mold. Come out here with mold breaker ability, and this thing's just gonna set up a nice easy reflect. I think I hit through reflects, don't I? Or is it just abilities? Willowis comes through. Did you dodge it? Does oh my god, he's dark type and Willowis is prankster now. Bro, this game, this game, doing me dirty, doing me so dirty. So we are just off to a rough start here. I always forget about little things sometimes. It's only on certain days. Some days I'm thriving with it. Some days I'm not. Um. Hmm. Does Mold Breaker hit through Reflect? I don't think it does. Unimpeded by abilities. Okay, so abilities won't affect it, but Reflects will still. So I'm just going to pop an EQ here. I might just help a hand this shot more than anything. Exactly on the window. So which all the King Gambit? Go back into Skelly, please. I wouldn't mind that. This dude's reading me like an absolute book. The biggest book ever. Absurd. Absurd right now. Reading me so bad. I might take on my, my Sableye. Almost did. Wait, did I just hit his Hydreigon? Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Levitate doesn't work. I got Mold Breaker. <laughs> Levitate doesn't work. I got Mold Breaker. That is not bad. Uh, I can go back into you now. I think Player Off is going to be our best bet here, right? I mean, I have Tux just in the back end. I can deal with Skelly later, but this seems like the best bet. You know, I could explode. I could explode if I want to, but I don't think it's going to be my play. Um, could go in Toxtricity. I kind of want to Rasalize you. I think Rasalize and you is going to be our best bet into Rock. And then go from there. Um, I think going in Skunk Tank at this point is probably, probably, probably your best play. I'm all about it. Wow, yo, I just hit through a Levity. That felt good. That felt good. Look how much damage we did to that Hydreigon. That felt real good. So Hydreigon might be faster, so I, I'm going to Thrasalize here. I'm going to pop that, and I think I'm just going to Poison Jab. Where do I play rough? What's our best bet? I mean, Poison Jab does more damage. I'm all about that Poison Jab. All about the Poison Jab. We know he has Reflect set up. I think we should be fine. I think we should be fine. Well, yeah, that might be my first time hitting a Levitate Pokemon with an Earthquake. That's hilarious. That is great. I mean, it seemed like a smart swap, too. I kind of got upset. I was like, oh, no, he really just read me like that? But I totally forgot. I got Mole Breaker. Hits through abilities. And I legit just read it, too. I just read that Mole Breaker hits through the abilities and all that. And I totally forgot about it, which is hilarious. We end up picking up the KO. Poison Jab's going to fly. This might pick up the KO here, too. Yo, Reflect, get on out of here. Your Reflect's doing nothing. We're smoking. This. Even even though we, we've had, like, three bad moves this turn, we are dominating this match. We're dominating this match. Our Pokemon are just overpowering them. Skunk Tank's doing some crazy damage. Probably just going to cancel thinking that we're not choice banned. And that we're just going to... Uh... Oh, I thought he... I forgot about the, the game. Okay, so he still has a shot. Definitely still has a shot here. Uh, you might have to fly for me. EQ has to fly for me. I'm going to EQ and... I can't swap into Toxicity. It's just not happening. I guess I'll just Poison Jab. And who would I rather go after? I mean, obviously Skelly Dirge because... Gambit, it doesn't affect him at all. So maybe we could get off a poison on the Skelly. So EQ can do a nice, nice chunk of damage. So we're going to see one Terrasalization come out. I think our Pokemon are faster all around. Skelly is going to get that Terrasalization to Grass. Okay. okay. Kind of scary because he's just going to Terra Blast into my Rock Pokemon, but sometimes it'd be like that. Oh, actually, Poison is going to do some good damage. Poison gonna do some good damage. Poison jabs gonna do some good damage. I just need Skunk Tank to eat this. Skunk Tank, I love you. 
Good eat, Skunk Tank. Good eat, Skunk Tank. You should be able to outspeed. Poison Jet flies through. Getting off some big time damage. Okay, I don't mind that. And we get the poison. And the poison. And the poison. I forgot about the King Gambit. I said this. Oh, dude, this thing has a berry too. But I said this match was easy because I thought it was just going to be Skelly Dirge. But it's going to come down to wire. I mean, he can just sucker punch me. He KOs me here all day. Um. Hmm. What is the play? What is the Gene's play here? Trying to think. Trying to think. We got the poison on him. Gambit's a little scary. I want a boom burst so bad. But at the same time, I don't. I think their speeds are the same. I think Toxicity speed's the same as Skunk Tank. Let me see. Or is it close? I know Skunk Tank's 149. It's 139. Okay, so Skunk Tank would go first here. My best bet for a move. I'm thinking it's Discharge, right? I'm gonna do that. I think Sucker Punch does fire. Oh, Sucker Punch does not fly. That is amazing that Sucker Punch did not come out there. No, he just won me the game. But I know Tox just the outspeeds. And he has no double hitting moves. Not too bad. Not too bad. So big time poison jab comes out from Skunk Tank. This charge coming in hot. Give me the para. Give me the para. We take out our Skunk Tank. We'll see how much damage. This thing can probably hit me hard with a Kowtow Cleave and take me out. Iron Head. Do we eat that? We do eat that. Real question is. We gotta go for another discharge, right? <laughs> so annoying. I don't think we KO here with a discharge. Get a Toxic. She's Sucker Punch coming in hot. And that KOs me. No shot. Uh, that's upsetting. That's upsetting. But hey, one and two for today's video. Not too bad. Probably should have went two and one. Both the battles that we lost came down to the wire. Not bad for today's video. Went one and two. Grab ourselves a losing record. That's what I get for not warming up. Usually I warm up with a couple of battles before recording, but I got some stuff to do today. So I figured I'd just hop right onto the rank ladder for you guys. Record my first three videos and go from there. But at least we got to showcase this full team. Both the battles that we lost came down to the wire. Definitely were win winnable on our end. But again, we got to showcase Toxicity, the Haxorus, the Skunk Tank, Golden Go, and then the two uh, Prankster Pokemon with Sableye and Murkrow. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.